let's get to the big story of the night. Uh, Jose has gone viral several times, but uh, this time Jose and Russ did an action. Had a little hot date with Rachel Maddow on the Upper East Side uh, of Manhattan. Rachel Maddow was there on a book tour. Uh, she was giving a book reading uh, along with an interview moderated by the great Ben Stiller. <laughs> and uh, you want to say how this went? I mean, failing Ben Stiller. Most of you guys have already seen the video. Uh, there are two videos, really, but Russell cut in some other stuff. So uh, why don't we take it from the top here? Why don't we first just show Jose's uh, intervention, and then we'll get into how that went. And sure. then we'll show more. Or do, do you well, want to just play the whole thing through when we can? Why, why don't Why don't we just play the whole video and then we'll do commentary on it? Sounds good. I have a television show, which I mean, I, I know technically is sort of like public speaking, but I can't see anybody's face <laughs> when I do that. So <laughs> break it me out. <clears throat> Rachel, I'd rather not listen to your boring book because you are here to get Israel wrong yet again. Just like you got 2016 wrong yet again. All you are is the biggest warmonger. You and the rest of the media are the biggest warmongers ever. Why is it that other countries are calling for peace? Brazil, Russia, India, and China all call for peace. From the United Nations. And what do you do? You're just a big, ugly face. You're a warmonger. All of you are just straight warmongers. That's right. Look at what they do to free speech. There's an ethnic cleansing in Gaza. And all you do is tell lies about it. You and the rest of the media are warmongers. Every single one of you. Look at that. Keeps going as they're literally carrying you out. All Jose is a pro, man. He's a pro. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, no. I had a feeling when we were talking about somebody was not happy. Thanks for buying the book. Now, Matt never says anything. She never engages. Even when Max Blumenthal did his intervention, she never, she just stands and waits. He was one of the most successful and celebrated industrialists on the planet. His anti-Semitism was rank. I know she was sunshine. waiting for people to talk. You are very yeah. that there are people among us who are parasites, who are, um, who are so nefarious, they can't be trusted to have any say in anything. They need to be driven out of our collective living space. It is to take away your rights. It is to take away democracy from everyone this is and russell's edit I feel like understanding that blocking that myself, well they sure as hell didn't put that up yeah, on the screen this graphic on the screen there. <laughs> well she, she she's she's unironically talking about how when when you other people it's a preamble to taking away your rights like this is what i mean she's feeding them exactly what they want arguing against bad political projects i'm less good at arguing against people who scare me um, I'm gonna go to a couple other questions here. I'll give shorter answers. I'm sorry, I get excited. Well, I, I, this book, this book and and, the, and this just this this is where I decided to interrupt very shortly after because it just turns into how do you do what you do, Rachel? Right. You know, you're so amazing. What's your process? It, it went to that. Rachel, would you consider Benjamin Netanyahu an authoritarian Sit foreign leader? Sit down. Can you please answer that? We're not here to Would talk to Would you consider you. Netanyahu a dangerous authoritarian foreign leader? Will you answer that? Will you stand up for the Muslim anchors at MSNBC who have been taken off the air? Will you speak for them? Will you speak up for them? What, what do you call a country that bombs people in a hospital? Is that fascism? Do you only see fascism when it's wearing a red hat? All right. So after that, getting out of there 
uh, was a bit of a complicated process, right? They didn't exactly yeah, let I, you go I, easy. Yeah, okay, because they had a guy, I don't know, man, but I'm a native New Yorker. I'm almost positive their head of security was an ex-cop. And he was, my read on it is he was already fucking so pissed about Jose yeah. that by the time he got to me, and also you got to remember, how does this make him look, right? He's the head of security. God, man, you got a brown guy got in there who wasn't uh, working for the for the temple, you should have checked him better, right? <laughs> like, he's already anticipating what kinds of questions he's going to get. And if you notice, Jose, a lot of people commented about that on your video. There, yeah. there, there are literally two brown people in that whole place. There's you, and there was one black guy in the security team. <laughs> I'm the security team, God. And that was it. That was it. So... With me, he wanted to make an example of me. So he was, because I went back and I looked at, I shot some footage of this. Yeah, he wasn't just playing games. He was, he had contacts in the force and he was trying to get them to call people that he knows to get me arrested. Like he really wanted to put me in cuffs. Well, you um, bet, well the other thing that pissed him off is that if you have some smart ass kid who thinks he knows the law better than he does, which I do, you know, he's right. definitely going to be really already pissed right. off. So. He was he, because the private security dragged me out to the cops. That's what happened. So, right, right. Um, and he's like, have the NYPD interview him and ID him right now. And so the NYPD is like, what's going on, man? What happened? And I said, nothing. I just decided to stand up and heckle. I want my stuff so I can go. And the cop was like, hey, listen, you know, like, uh, this is a private event. And I said, yeah, well, my free speech doesn't end at a private event. I know my goddamn rights. Now, let me get my stuff so I can get out of here. And the, the bald-headed guy was just furious because he said, well, get his ID. It's like, no, 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 no. He's not getting my ID. You're getting me my stuff back. And I said, here's my card, is as in my tag, because you had to check in your right, yeah, yeah. tag before you went in. And then the guy just walked away and said, I don't want your fucking card. And so I was like, it's my tag card, you idiot. And so it is like... <laughs> Yeah, no, look, everything you did was completely legal. It was probably against the rules, which is why they made you leave. Fair enough. But it's, like, it's right. not illegal. There's nothing illegal about that. You're paying customers. The show sucked. And so you voiced your opinion. Hey, this fucking show sucks. Yeah. I paid $50 to get in here. I, 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 this isn't the ice capates. <laughs> we get heckled all the time when our show sucks. We get heckled when our show doesn't suck. What? Yeah. You know what I mean? Our, uh, according we didn't to get us. our books. We didn't keep our books. I don't know what the hell that was about. That was the thing. Russell said on the way out, you asked the security guard, what about uh, uh, my book? Uh, oh, well, okay. that's here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want to play this. So All this right. was so, yeah, after you guys uh, walked away, uh, you know, without having to spend the night in the slammer. Uh, here's a, a little post game on, what was this, uh, Lexington? Yeah. Walking down Lexington Avenue. Right by Hunter College. All right. So somebody's right. saying in there, Russ Donning the shit lived disguise. You're right. I went and got a haircut. I put on my Shawshank Redemption glasses. Because it's, it's one of the world's most famous synagogues this was temple emmanuel it's one of the oldest in the world it's 180 years old it's you can see from the video it's enormous um so yeah you never know man do they see this is the thing with cops and i'm sure jose knows this like yeah you can know all those rights and they can just decide you don't have those rights and then they'll lie about it later oh yeah they want you to spend a few nights in the canner, uh, in in, in yeah. the can, you you will. Yes, yeah, you exactly. Will. All right, here you are, uh, walking down the street afterwards. Yes. All Sorry. right, so this is me and uh, Jose here in our yeah. post action mode. Did you get the book? No, man. I said to him, but he was taking me out. I was like, "What about my book?" He goes, "Fuck your book." <laughs> oh man. Yeah, all right, how'd I do, man? You did uh, good. That was no, the first no, time no, that no. I uh, did that. Well, man. how were you feeling beforehand? You it's know, not man. easy, right? It's 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 not only nerve wracking, yeah. On like just that, like you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, like breaking the social contract level, yeah, yeah. But you know, the truth is, you kind of feel bad for that lady next to you who got up so you could go to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? You know, like funny. you're like, I'm about to shatter this woman's whole fucking <laughs> evening. You know, she's just dumb. As much she doesn't as, know better. You know, it's much, like beating up a horse or something. You as know? much as it sucks, I try to sit next to old ladies in the middle because when the security says you got to move, they're the slowest to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? I had some pretty slow people next to me, but they got to me pretty fast. But <laughs> well, I, I would have kept filming when they took me out. 
but I was afraid they were going to get my phone. I have the, uh, no, 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 they legally can't do that either. Yeah, 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 but they could shut it off or something, no, you know what I'm saying? No, if they do, that's a fat lawsuit. I looked into all of this. They almost did that to me once, and, well, anyway. Uh, See, Jose knows his shit, man. We need, Jose, we need. Jose's look, like a jailhouse lawyer over here. <laughs> <laughs> we, listen, we need like 300 of you doing what we just did tonight. Damn okay? right. Damn I, right. Make Gotham ungovernable. You know, this Go is like. No Bane on their asses. Been, it's been a year now since I did the AOC intervention. And now, you know, we bring it back with the Rachel Maddow one. So I think October is just, you know, it's got something in it, but. It's Action Tober. Action Tober, yeah. So, so do an action yeah, near man. you, kids. Totally non-violently and within the bounds of the law. Exactly. Use your First Amendment. Jose says, use your First Amendment, <laughs> kids. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All, right. All right. Peace. Well done, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I wish I could have kept filming on the way out. I was very afraid of getting separated from that phone. So I just shoved it down in my pocket as soon as they got a hold of me. I understand um, completely. But when they were dragging me out, I was screaming at them. I was like, you're all fascists. You are the fascists. You say you hate. Like, it, like what I was saying to them on the way out was actually better, but I couldn't film it. Please clap.